Hey YouTubers, good morning, it's Rob Muffet. Guys, today this video was for preppers or anybody who is in charge of purchasing the food for their family or for themselves. You know, uh, I've been making a lot of videos over the years and I made one a few years ago about my long-term food storage that I get for the Mormons. This is my long-term stuff. It's a number 10 cans and it'll last for 30 years, except for the powdered milk. And it's a very popular video, but my regular or short-term stored stuff that I buy repeatedly over the years and I've learned how to use and have different recipes for, I thought I would go over. There's about 40 different things that I get from Walmart or Amazon. Now, if you don't like Walmart, they will deliver. So if you don't like going to Walmart, <laughs> and obviously Amazon would deliver, but, but these are the things that I buy a lot that are either a good value or they're very nutritious or both, and I buy repeatedly start off with the first one. It's going to be about 40 of them, I think. These are mushrooms. I learned from Dr. Gregor how important mushrooms are for uh, different things. They're supposedly help you with, with uh, cognitive abilities. They help with the old brain. And even the white mushrooms work. So uh, once I learned that, <laughs> I better load up on mushrooms. And I learned I really like them. And I end up using at least four, maybe five cans a week. So I buy quite a few of them, and this is one of the best prices. You can get a better price at Walmart, but they usually don't have enough. They only have a few cans on st in the stock usually. So I, for a few cents more, I've been finding a almost a, you know the same price at uh, Amazon, and they're very. I recommend them. They're very good, and have them with with omelets and casseroles and uh, anything I cook in the pan. Um, they're they're excellent. This is something a lot of people don't like, but a lot of people don't know how to cook it. I didn't care for it much. I used to get them for a dollar a can at the dollar store. I've got several videos on my YouTube channel about cooking these. One of the best, easiest ways is with a panini grill. You just make a marinade with some Italian dressing and some powdered onion and parsley flakes and so on. And if you don't have Italian dressing, just use a spoon of uh, vinegar and a spoon of sugar with some soy sauce and some water and very simple, quick. And you soak this for just a little bit and then put it on your panini grill on medium heat for 15 minutes. And it, when it's done, it makes an excellent flavor fish. Um, I have this repeatedly. It's It used to be one of the least expensive uh, animal proteins you could buy in a can. Everything else was so much more expensive. However, the price has gone up. They're getting close to uh, two dollars a can. In fact, in, in Walmart and other stores, they're over two dollars a can. So it's almost getting close to the price of inexpensive salmon. But I buy cases of this and use it often. And this is one of my uh, popular um, animal meat sources. I usually eat uh, cheese and nuts and beans and seeds and things like that but I eat a lot of canned seafood. Dr. Gregor turned me on to blueberries, and Lordy, I've bought these 13 times. Of course, I gave them away a couple of times, but they're, they have many medicinal uh, uses. They're very helpful, healthy for your body, but they also taste good. I make little shakes every, even, every evening, and then I soak a fresh batch for 24 hours, and the and next evening I make another batch. But just a tiny handful makes a wonderful shake, and I add other things to the shake. And it's one of my favorite. In fact, I don't really have dinner. I just have a shake made with omelet powder, blueberry, and a couple other powders. And that's it. That's what I have for dinner every evening. And I'm not really hungry. I do the same thing by adding a little bit of dried cherries. I don't use as much as the blueberries. And I use a tiny bit of the cranberries. And I found since I started using cranberries, I don't wake up in the middle of the night and have to pee like I used to. <laughs> So it helps with urinary problems as you get older, at least with me. And that has been a side benefit. I didn't purchase th this for medicinal problems. I just wanted to add different nutrients to my shake. I'm a big believer in trying to eat the most nutritious things you can in every meal. I think some people call that the nutri nutritary. Nut nut uh, they call those people who do that nut nutritarians. They try to eat the most nutritious thing they can. And that's generally what I try. You know, don't always do it, but... Um, and by adding a variety of different things, it's good to have diverse. 
this is what I do with the garlic. I find when I cook with garlic, sometimes it's a little bit bitter, but I've started putting these in pills and in capsule forms, and I just have one every day, and I think it helps. Um, garlic is good for so many different things, and this way I can have it in my diet, and I don't have to worry about how, what am I going to cook with it. So uh, it's become more of a supplement for me than uh, uh, something I, I cook with, but it's a very good quality and, and, and it's it's good price too. This gelatin I found you can make your own jello and it's actually cheaper than the, the boxes of jello you get in the store and you can control the amount of sugar you get. It's uh, grass fed pasture raised supposedly very excellent quality gelatin so um, this is something that's on my list I often buy. Ginger powder, I have ginger in my tea every day and there's nothing better in the world if if you're a sailor or you work around things that are you're uh, out on ships and so on it's very helpful for a person who gets seasick or a lot of uh, women who have uh, morning sickness when they're pregnant and so on this is something that's very good for them when they get uh, upset stomach it's wonderful for that and triple or double and in, in studies they've they've uh, compared this to uh, scopolamine uh, to be uh, something that's helpful with motion sickness and it was superior so uh, like this is a pretty good quality ginger and lasts a very long time I just put a tiny bit in my tea every evening McCormick Italian seasoning is one of my favorite seasonings uh, it's a lot cheaper to buy this large amount than spend almost the same amount for the tiny little containers and it this can uh, really increase the flavor of a lot of dishes uh, your, your sauces and so on and uh, I think it also may have some medicinal help, help to it because the different herbs are, are very good for you the, the thyme, oregano, the basil and so on um, it's just one of my favorite herbs Th this I'm still on the fence this is the nutritional yeast I've tried it before in the popcorn and also surprisingly I put it in some of my bean soups it gives it a kind of a cheesy flavor um, it's got tons and tons of protein that's one of the reasons I purchased it and like I said I'm trying to always add and increase my nutrients and different things that I eat in my diet this has a lot of vitamin B huge amounts of vitamin different B's um, but mostly so far on the popcorn and in the the beans so sometimes when you make bean soup it's kind of plain and this really adds a complex flavor to it that I kind of like um, but it just it's taken me a little while to get used to it but I think it's going to be a winner it's going to be a keeper eventually this is something that I only bought one time and it's because I wanted to tell you a story when I purchased it, it was like ten dollars the story is if you go to Amazon and constantly look at different things that you like occasionally you will see they will be on sale and if you already know you like something you can buy a ton of it at very good prices when I purchased this I had never eaten it before but it was available for 10 bucks for 12 packs that was a very good price when I got it I found it was very good quality but they raised the price so once you're aware of something and you know it's good quality Amazon occasionally just like any store sometimes have sales on things that they need to to get rid of their stock and uh, in this case I was able to get a large amount for the tofu which this particular band doesn't need to be refrigerated so it's kind of cool um, this is something in the last couple of years I've started using normally I would only use fresh onions for everything but I found that this onion powder is good for a lot of things like if you're making something and it ends up having a lot of liquid in it you can add the ground onion powder and it'll absorb a lot of liquid and make whatever you're eating more thick and less fluid and it's 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 very good for doing experiments and having fun with cooking in different ways and uh, this particular brand of powder is more powdery like uh, baby powder than granular a lot of the onion powders are kind of uh, like like a sand where this is definitely a powder and I kinda like it it's got a fresh taste to it also this is something I've been buying forever uh, 
and, and about 10 years ago, I became a fanatic over parsley. And up to that point, I'd never eaten parsley at all. But I just, for some reason, started wanting it in my food. And I always try to find a place I can use parsley whenever I'm cooking the dried. Now, don't get me wrong. If I have fresh, even better. But so many times I was buying the fresh in the store, and they had mixed up with grass. And you can't tell the grass is in there sometimes. And when you eat it, you get upset stomach. So, and you have to clean it, get all the dirt out. Where this was always uh, pretty good quality. I never had to worry about that stuff. So, I just use parsley for the weight is one of the most nutrient-dense uh, plant foods you can eat. It's got so many good things in it. And like I said, it's, it's fun for me to constantly find ways to use it. Also, sometimes just a tiny bit gives a wonderful extra color to your food. And color is an important part of your uh, eating experience. If you like sardines, and even if you don't, I'll tell you something about that in a minute too. If you like sardines, this is probably the best deal out there. Right now, sardines are getting to be more than a dollar a can. And this is 24 cans for about $22. Uh, 18, excuse me, 18 cans. So it's a little over, it's a little over a dollar a can. But these are in extra virgin olive oil. Normally you pay a lot amount of money for that. The I've eaten the King Oscar in olive oil sardines, which I consider to be one of the best ones out there because they're kind of really small and, and delicate and they have a good flavor and fresh. And oftentimes when you open up these, they're also small. Sometimes they're bigger, though, than, than they were you had expected. But um, I compare these to the King Oscar, but the, the, the taste is uh, practically identical. I'm going to do a review on the two between the King Oscar and these, but for right now, let, I just want you to know, $18, 18 cans for 21 bucks, 21 two bucks. That is a very good price. You can't get that at Walmart. And if you if, if you don't like sardines, I have found out with my canned seafood, for people who don't like it, what I do for them is I just make it into a spread for sandwiches and crackers. You do that by adding just a tiny bit of mayonnaise and some onion powder and some a uh, little bit of relish, pickle relish, and maybe some lemon juice, and just mash it up really good, and it makes a wonderful spread for sandwiches and tacos and tortillas and crackers. So, and, and most people don't mind at all the taste. This is something I haven't bought in a while, but I thought I'd mention it when I had eaten in the past. It's actually, it's got a not a pleasant name, but but it's a good, very good product. It's it's 100% soybeans. They uh, uh, process it in a certain way that it, it's pretty good for the for the protein and for the uh, the soybean. Um, and when you cook it, it has sort of a meaty texture and it takes on the flavor of whatever you're cooking it with. And it's a pretty good product. It'll last a long time in your cupboard. So overall, it's not cheap, but it's uh, it was a lot better than I, I thought it would be or that it sounded. This is something I just bought recently and I like adding seeds to my cold oatmeal with milk and I started adding these sunflower seeds. This is one of the best prices I've found and I reordered because it was a pretty good deal. This is turmeric. I use turmeric anytime I can for the color. I don't really care for the taste that much, but it is supposed to be very good for you. But whenever I'm cooking pasta or anything, I add the turmeric to the water and it turns everything a nice bright yellow color. And I also, when I'm making my powdered sauces for cheese sauces and so on, I add turmeric. And this is much cheaper than buying little tiny containers. This will last a long time. I'm a powder. Most people have never heard of this. I was turned on to this by Dr. Greger. And there's about a hundred different studies saying it's good for everything. <laughs> and what I do is, I told you earlier about the little shake I have that I make and eat or drink every evening. I add about a maybe a third, about four grams, about a third of a teaspoon into the shake every evening. That had been soaked for 24 hours. And uh, it, it doesn't have a bad flavor. It's kind of, a, it's a gooseberry. It's it, it was uh, it's a fruit. It's a little bit sour, 
<clears throat> it's um, you wouldn't want to run home and have it, but if you look at all the things it's supposed to be good for, I don't see any downside. So I buy a big bag of it, and it lasts me for about eight months. This is at Walmart now. This is something at Walmart whenever <coughs> they have the sales. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. <coughs> Mm. Mm. These are the things I get at Walmart that they deliver for me. I try to have apples every day. I have a little apple core that I can slice and core the apples in like two seconds. And I have them with my oatmeal every morning. And it's it's easy to have three or four bags in the refrigerator. They'll, they'll last for a long time. This is a cornmeal mix I prefer over any others I found. It's a, The price is equivalent and I add shredded carrots with peanut butter and molasses and make something that's not cornmeal and I cook it on top of my stove and my little non-stick omelet pan in a way that nobody else does. I made a video on it um, but uh, it's it makes uh, a really nice m departure from normal cornbread that I like a lot. Kind of look forward to actually. I made a video on a way to cook liver that no one else has ever done that I have seen that is so extremely simple that it's 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 takes no time at all to cook and prepare liver. This is the calf liver. It's more expensive than the regular liver, but it's worth the price. If you don't like liver, it's maybe you didn't eat the calf liver. The regular plain liver it has more fiber and so on and it's maybe not as appetizing. I don't hardly eat any meat and when I do I want to eat the most nutritious meat I can. There isn't any more food that you can eat that I can think of that's more nutritious than calf liver. Um, I'm not I'm not going to convert anybody if you don't like liver. Nothing I have said or I'm going to say is going to convert you but for those of you who do once in a while eat it check out my video I'll leave a link to it on the way you can cook this and there's no fat there's no bone there's no skin it's all pure meat and it's very thin it stores in your refrigerator you can put a large amount in there and have a, like I have maybe one of these a month and so you could buy seven or eight and put in your, your freezer and it'll last you a long time certain times a year the canned vegetables at Walmart are fairly expen inexpensive and it's good to get a supply of them because they're not as good as fresh but the corn and the peas and the green beans they always have them inexpensively and it, it, it's just good to go to the cupboard and see a couple dozen cans of peas and corn and green beans because you know it just makes you feel good and you can use them in so many things the salmon is, this is an excellent price for salmon, actually. And since the the canned mackerel, the price has increased so much, um, it's now really probably better just to get the salmon. I should have probably bought more. Um, I basically just make a sandwich spread with the salmon, as I said earlier, with the mayonnaise and the pickle relish and onion powder. If necessary, you can add a little. Uh, bread crumbs. It's extremely delicious, tons of nutri nutrition, lots of protein, and uh, most people like it. And it lasts a pretty long time in the cupboard. It's a very good food storage item. One of the best out there, I think. This is a very good item. You can add to it to make it taste better because this is the bottom of the barrel pasta sauce, but it's not that bad, but if you add onions and garlic and celery and so on, it's pretty good. What I do to it is this next item. This is one of the better things at Walmart. It's got tomatoes with green peppers, celery, and onions. I add that to the regular pasta sauce, and it makes it very good. Don't get the one that has garlic in it because it's bitter. It just doesn't taste good. I think they've stopped making it. But, uh, yeah, I need to buy some more of these. 
Now be careful with tomato based canned products because whenever I have a can in my cupboard that's gone bad, it's always been a tomato product. This is an excellent buy. It's a half a pound, eight ounces of dark cocoa. And if you have some sugar and some flour and maybe egg, you can make a ton of different desserts that are delicious with the chocolate. And if you're if you're a prepper and if things go bad, <laughs> you're gonna want something <laughs> that, that tastes good. Uh so uh and, and even if things don't go bad, you're gonna want something <laughs> that tastes good. You know, you're always going to want something that tastes good. You can guarantee it. And uh, cocoa, you can do a lot with it. I made a video, I think just a couple months ago, telling people everyone should have 10 pounds of these because they cook so quickly and they have so much nutrition and protein in them. And you can do more things with them, I think, than many beans. And their taste is very mild. And they go together with so many different foods. If you look at my freezer, it's practically three-fourths filled with bags of frozen vegetables from Walmart. Either the broccoli florets or the, the California blend. The good bargain. I use mayonnaise a lot for sandwich spreads that I make out of fish and uh, beans and vegetables and so on. And it's really handy to have mayonnaise and it lasts a very long time in the cupboard too. I don't use c cans of creamed soup often but sometimes because I usually make my own but sometimes I'm lazy and if you have a lot of mushrooms anyway and some other products you can add creamed mushroom soup to a lot of different recipes. That's a classic ingredient of meatloafs and things people have been using for, for decades, generations actually. So and these are quite inexpensive. I mean, if you were to try to make this and can it yourself, you would not want to uh, have someone pay you 58 cents. It would take you a lot of time, money, and effort, and cost. I did a video just the other day on peanut butter, and this is the one I'm getting. It's peanut butter spread, but the actual ingredients look better than the supposedly uh, superior peanut butter. Um, I kind of like this one. For the price, you can pay more money and get even better ones, but for the price, I think, what is it, 10.9 10 cents per ounce. Parboiled rice, many people don't realize it has more nutrients than regular plain brown rice, or uh, uh, white rice. It is close to being equivalent in protein and nutrients as brown rice, However, it will last many, many months or years longer than brown rice. Brown rice will spoil on you before your parboiled rice will. So uh, I like having the extra nutrients, and I've learned to like the taste. You generally have a rice that's separate. It's not sticky rice. So if you like sticky rice, it's difficult to do with the parboiled rice. But if you like the type of rice you get at Pollo Tropical and so on, this is the type of rice they use. It's sort of rice that's separated on your plate that, that I like a lot. A one pound of pasta. A lot of people don't eat pasta because they're worried about their hypoglycemic index and so on, but I've been learning that if you cook your pasta and let it get cold and make like a pasta salad, you reduce your uh, hypoglycemic index by what, 50% or something. So it's not as bad for you as people would imagine when you cook it, let it get cold. And then there's nothing better than a cold pasta salad like tuna and so on. At, at summertime it's great. Raisins, I'm kind of spoiled. I used to buy them so often when they were three dollars a can. Now they're getting close to four. But around the holidays oftentimes they'll come down in price. And when they do, these will last in your cupboard for several years. I just buy a dozen at a time because they're so good in my cereal every morning. And you can also put them in jars and add brandy to them and make brandied raisins and have them over ice cream and a lot of different things. I even add them into some of my um, meat, meat dishes that uh, I make. Not much anymore, 
but I used to make empanadas and uh, anything with hamburger I would add olives and, and raisins too but uh, not many people do that but uh, this isn't the best cheese in the world but it's good cheese but you can get five pound bags and separate them into smaller bags and freeze them so they'll last a long time and then when you're cooking just make like a tablespoonful of cheese on whatever you're cooking and give it a little extra flavor and texture and so on and it's a, a good way to well <laughs> cheese <laughs> cheese solves everything uh, whatever your cooking problem is just add more cheese walnuts are great for you and surprisingly the prices haven't gone up too much I think these used to be nine or ten dollars now they're twelve but still two pounds it's doable I just add a tiny little handful in my cereal every morning this lasts a long time this I think is the last one it's like a buck for uh, whole grain crackers if you've ever tried to make your own crackers one dollar or one dollar and twelve cents for four sleeves of crackers that's a bargain <laughs> you can buy four or five boxes and they'll last a few months before they get stale and uh, they're good with uh, your sandwich spreads or your soups and all sorts of things so guys those were my I think about 40 different items that are sort of my medium short-term storage pantry items that I think are very good quality or price or both and I think it was hopefully you you got something helpful from at least one of them I'm going to be putting on some more videos like this about things that are good prepper items that you can get like at uh, Harbor Freight or and so on or some of my better things I bought non-food items from Amazon that I liked over the years and that it maybe might be helpful to somebody so if you like that type of video keep watching I put on new videos every week been doing around 15 years at least one video every week got tons of different playlists a bunch of cool people I featured down at the bottom of my channel no relation to me they would deny it anyway <laughs> and like I said I put new stuff on every week y'all come back watch more and thanks so much for watching to the end Google really likes it I really like it and you really like it <laughs> alright guys it's been a pleasure thanks a lot take care see you out there